everyone welcome back to our channel so today we are going to be bringing you guys along with us while we do some grocery shopping for our family of seven and we're going to also be doing a grocery haul we are going to be starting a new segment on our channel where we do weekly grocery hauls and we're also going to be sharing with you guys what our family eats in a week so if that is something that you would be interested in if you are new yep put your shoes on if you are new just be sure to subscribe turn on those post notifications and uh, whenever we go grocery shopping with the kids we did get them these tablets for christmas so we're gonna make go ahead and grab those so that they can be entertained hi babe what up so here is our menu for this week if you want to be successful in this grocery shopping life you got to be very strategic with your ish you know what i'm saying like you got to really you got to list everything and you have to base it off of your meals that you're going to have for the week some people do monthly grocery shopping some people do daily grocery shopping some people do weekly grocery shopping so the first store that we're going to go to is y'all see him over there being a savage the first store that we're gonna go to is. I want y'all to know she got her own bag. I do, but I'm not. She been you eating it about like you ate that taco that time. So. Like, just like I am. We are gonna go to Sam's Club first or Walmart. We have to return six packs of neck bones that we purchased earlier this week. When we purchased them, they were expired. I did not go in there, but Lewis did. And y'all know how men do sometimes. I can't speak for y'all men, but I'm speaking for mine. He goes in there and he just grabs, 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 and he did not look at the expiration date. He even grabbed a bag of fresh green beans that looks like it had milk in it. And he was like, well, I thought that was just water. He said it looked, he said it looked just like water when I was in the store, sir. It looked like some expired milk that was sitting around the green beans. Are your husbands like that? For your significant others if you send your significant other to the store to get something do they you know pay attention are they very vigilant about their food items let me know in the comment section we're going to be going to costco sam's club and walmart today so that's a lot of stores that we're going to be going to i'm excited because our refrigerator is completely empty our budget is $250. I do not think that we are going to stay under budget. I actually think that we may go look a little up. over. Sorry, son. You gotta look up for a second. I do think that we may go a little over our budget, but I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Say hey, Cody. Hey. <laughs> I see that. It is so cold outside. Like, I wish I could just send my husband in and just tell him to get everything that I need and he actually do everything, get everything that I need, but I know that that is not Wait the case. Wait for me! Are you guys ready to go grocery shopping? Yeah! Oh, we're bringing a tablet. I'm, I'm a slide. Yes, they are bringing their tablets so that they can leave us alone I while we go grocery know. shopping. Usually, you guys, usually we do our, um, not usually, but sometimes we'll do our shopping online like at walmart and stuff but sometimes we do grocery shopping at like a lot of different stores like today we'll be doing costco sam's club and walmart most of our groceries will be coming from walmart here is my list and because we are going to so many different stores i did go through my list and like mark everywhere so like if we're going to get something from walmart i put a w sam's club s or costco with c or i just put costco I had to put this little jacket right here because he kept trying to put this bar in his mouth. So. Smart mom. We're not bougie like y'all be. We don't, <laughs> we don't have all the fancy little jackets. Kept it up right till the morning. A new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah. So, we are in the store, you guys, and almost done with our little load that we need to get from here, and two of the kids 
decided that they needed to go to the bathroom. So there's that. Alright y'all, so we are gonna try this again. We are in Sam's Club. Vlogging in Costco was an absolute fail. So let's try this again. be lazy. I'm all for doing what's crazy. Cause you make it real, yeah. You find a different side of me. This is not on the list. Oh, so why you getting it? Just in case we want a sandwich. This is how your green beans are supposed to look. Dry, no milk liquid, milky looking liquid. Mm -hmm. Thanks for listening to my kitty chat. So what have you crossed off the list so far? A lot of stuff. I know I'm about to stand here and go through all of it. We'll talk about it after. You said what? I'm tired of shopping. I am too. I'm not going to lie Here's to you. The beef. I said beef with a T-H at the end. <laughs> beef flavor. Beef. Beef. Oh, you got to see my face. Beef. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I'm so sorry. This rent seasoning is $8.58. Here they had one at Costco for like $6.99. It was like this long. Hmm. Looks amazing. <laughs> what, what were you looking for? Did you find it? Baby is my man for me, doing what he can for me. You can catch him every day, making me happy. And he's fine. He's fine. Come on, load them groceries up, sweetheart. Are y'all buckled up? Yeah, it's cold. It is cold. When I say I am so tired of shopping, it is currently 3.19 and I'm hungry and I'm tired of shopping. One more stop to make. Um, I think we're gonna like just let one person go in i don't feel like going in so i guess that one person is gonna have to be my husband yeah. what's up you guys so we're back home and we're about to do our grocery haul okay. <laughs> what you say <laughs> Okay, this is TikTok addiction. I mean, <laughs> yeah, basically. TikTok addiction. I'm addicted to TikTok. Yeah. So, y'all, for real, like, for real, for real, I am tired. Okay, we've been shopping. I feel like you've been shopping all day. All day. But we are back home. <clears throat> and as you can see, I am enclosed in a grocery dungeon. So, our budget was, what was our budget, babe? 250 <laughs> We hilariously. No, she hilariously. Oh, she hadn't busted the darn thing of oatmeal. I'm leaning on it. But we have hilariously exceeded the budget. And I'm going to show you guys a total of like everything that we spent. I think I'm going to show you guys the meats first. Starting off, for starters, from Costco, we got this. Fresh Atlantic Salmon, and it is farm raised. This is my absolute favorite salmon, you guys. Um, this is actually going to be a meal. We also got some neck bones. These are beef neck bones. Um, I tried the pork neck bones and my blood pressure shot through the mother loving roof. I'm talking about everything swelling up, my fingers swelling up, my elbows swelling up. My, my, my face swelling up, the toes, my toenails swelling up, honey. My blood pressure shot through the roof. But these are the beef and they are so good. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I make these in my What We Eat In A Week video. 
and so these were they varied because they they were by like a pound they were charged by the pound so like this one was 367 395 398 they're different prices 409 484 and 428 so my kids actually really like these i make them in the crock pot and they are so good y'all this got me feeling like arby's right here <laughs> Arby's. We have the meats. This is from Sam's Club, you guys, and this was actually $29.25. And this is almost 10 pounds, 9.95 pounds. This should be enough for like all the mini meals that we're going to have this week um, using ground beef. So we're going to separate them in these freezer bags just in case I need to toss them in the freezer. And we also got some thin sliced chicken breast. But I could have easily, um, I could have got like a huge pack of chicken breast for like that same price. But I was just like, girl, give yourself some grace, honey. Just get you some thin chicken breast. It's already thinned out for you. So I got that for, what's the matter? I got that for one of the meals that we're gonna be having this week. I got some of this turkey smoked sausage. <laughs> it just farted. We have a special guest, you guys. He wanted to be in the video. Say hello. Say hello. You're not gonna wave? No? Oh, we got this smoked tur turkey sausage. And we got some turkey breast. Um, I usually get this every time. This actually may last a little longer than a week, to be honest with you. It should, anyways. What are you doing? What are you doing, you little grandma? <laughs> what? Oh, sure. Fan. Okay. So then I got some of this beef broth. I got some butter. Um, I got quite a few bags of these ready rice, Uncle Ben's ready rice. Y'all, this is so convenient. Yes, it's like one, it's about $2 per bag. Um, okay, I'm putting you down because you're heavy. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, six bags of this Uncle Ben's um, ready rice. So convenient and it's actually really good. Um, I don't plan on eating this just because I try to watch my car intake, you guys. But my kids, I know for a fact, they will tear it up, definitely. I also got some of these um, Parker House style yeast rolls. I have a beautiful plan for these. I think my kids will actually really enjoy. Y'all know Members Mark has those uh, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yeah, to crank it up. <laughs> they had those never mark um, like chicken sandwiches and the chicken nuggets, chicken bites. That's what they call them. I wanted to get some of those today. Went there and they were all I seen was empty boxes. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go there tomorrow or see, look on their app and see if they have some because I wanted to do some chicken minis for the kids' lunches this week for a few of their lunches this week. Um, so yeah. Plan to go back tomorrow to see if they have more in stock. And one day this week, we're gonna have pizzas um, for dinner. Well, we're gonna do a pizza night for the kids for dinner. So, originally, I was gonna get some dough or make my own dough and do the pizzas, but we were at Sam's and I seen these. These were like $4 or some change. And it comes with 10 little flatbread things. So, I figured that we could just do like little personal pan pizzas not really personal pan personal aluminum foil um <laughs> pizzas we're gonna put some pizza sauce and some cheese some pepperonis i forgot to get the pepperonis i forgot to get the pepperonis dang man so we got some pepperonis left i don't know we might i don't know because i yeah my refrigerator is absolutely empty ain't nothing in that refrigerator i didn't see any pepperonis but maybe we can improvise we can do something different i got some um, of this great value meat sauce, y'all. This was 88 cents. Okay, okay. I got two of these for 
um, some lunch for the kids this week. Then I got this oatmeal. The kids are probably going to have oatmeal a couple of times this week for breakfast. Well, with their breakfast. So I got this big thing from Walmart. The kids really enjoy this yogurt. This is the Great Value yogurt. And it's actually low fat, which I didn't know it was low fat. But the kids love this. This is the strawberry and peach. And it comes with like 12 little cups of your arm get tired <laughs> it goes with like 12 little cups of the yogurt and the kids really enjoy those now this huh why are we missing one babe hmm? why are we missing like where did it go right because i was when i brought it in this it, was a non-essential item that my husband wanted non-essential not what it was essential no it was non-essential this came from Sam's. I don't know why I got two different brands. I think because one of them said sweet broccoli on the actual little price tag that was hanging on the showcase thing. Um, but this is the two pounds of broccoli florets. You guys, I don't know why. We usually do the um we usually get the frozen broccoli, but I have really been loving the fresh broccoli in the oven. So I got two bags of fresh broccoli florets. I got some sweet peppers. I'm gonna chop this up for our cabbage. So good. I got some lemon. So I got this salad mix from a Sam's Club. Y'all, are these bags like vacuum sealed? It feels like really vacuum sealed-ish. Like it's very, I don't know, I can't explain it, but got that i also got some of these clementines oh no wait these are mandarins mandarin oranges the kids they eat these like potato chips so got a big bag of those those will probably last us for like a week maybe a week and a half i don't know it just depends on how they eat them i got two bags of grapes um these grapes were actually not expensive at all they were like two or three dollars and y'all when i look for grapes i like them to be real firm i was about to say hard but i like them to be real firm i don't like soft mushy grapes so these are perfect and then i also got two of these little contact not little these are actually fairly big i got two of these containers of strawberries they look kind of juicy i got this big thing of spinach because i actually I eat a lot of spinach, whether that be in my smoothies or with my salmon. I eat a lot of spinach, okay? Vegetable Melody. Ooh. Girl, you look good. Thanks, babe. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Blackberries, blueberries. They're gonna have these berries with their oatmeal. Um, and just just to snack on in general um they have healthy snacks and they have unhealthy snacks okay uh don't judge me then i got some of these little sweet potatoes um they're gonna be included with a meal for this week hopefully i'm hoping that all the kids will eat them we're trying something different okay and then I got some of these bananas. Yes, they are very green. We're gonna let them get nice and ripe. I only, actually, I only have two kids. Well, no, three kids that eat bananas. Cody and Landon do not like bananas. I got some of this multi-grain bread. Um, this was actually really cheap. This was like a dollar and some change. Hey, cameraman, you are not allowed to jump <laughs> while you are recording. I'm really me. hoping that my bro I'm not like breathing super hard. That baby is tired, y'all. He is so tired. This multi-grain bread, this is the Great Value brand. And it's very cheap. It's like a dollar and some change. Somebody is in there doing some damage, honey. And then I got some of these um, cinnamon raisin. Hey man. Hey. Dang man. Whose tablet did you take? Chloe's. You confiscated somebody's tablet. <laughs> what is Chloe doing? 
So I got this value pack of um, cinnamon raisin English muffins for the kids. I got them from Sam's Club. They were only like, they were either two or four something. I got some hot dog buns for a meal that we were actually supposed to have today for dinner, but we're gonna have to do that another day. Yeah, so um, got those from Sam's. I think they were like two or three dollars for 16 buns. Then I also got some Hawaiian rolls, the Hawaiian sweet rolls for, I don't know if this is gonna be for lunch or a dinner. I'm pretty sure this will be for lunch. I was gonna do like some little slot, do some sliders. I was gonna do some sliders for the kids' lunches. This should actually last us for a little bit, a little while. And you know, you can always freeze the bread if you need to. I'm thinking that we are needing to get a deep freezer, but y'all know our house is kind of small and we don't really have anywhere to put a deep freezer. So I think we'll have to hold off on that for now. I also got some of the bubbly sparkling, sparkling water. I love sparkling water, you guys. Um, it's actually been a really good alternative um, for sodas. Y'all know I tried to, you know, I've been doing my little health kick and just trying to make better eating decisions for myself. Um, so yeah, these are really refreshing. I love them. They're even better if they're cold. I can drink them at room temperature, but if you want to put them in the refrigerator to get them nice and chilly, go ahead and do that girl. So then I got this 32 pack of juice. I actually got this from... I got this from Walmart. I should have probably gotten um, some from like Sam's or Costco. This was like 10 bucks and yeah, I don't even know if that's a good deal or not to be honest with you. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, then I got this, I got this orange juice from Sam's Club. This is the Members Mark orange juice and it is 100% orange juice. This was like $3 or maybe $4 and some change. I don't know. We got some croissants because we will be doing some lunches with these. Okay. And so now here we are going to get into the more like unhealthy items. Okay um convenience unhealthy but essential yeah because y'all don't understand like kids be wanting snacks so i got some popcorn my kids absolutely love popcorn okay um i literally just started letting them eat popcorn like for real for real like maybe last year sometime because i was very paranoid i do not let logan eat popcorn Logan does not eat popcorn. He's too young and he don't got no teeth in the back. I told Dallas that I was going to get us like a little box cake um, so that we can make that together. But you guys know that we have a couple of egg allergies and nut peanut allergies. So I actually got this cake with some applesauce because you can actually, you know, switch out applesauce instead of eggs. You can use applesauce instead of eggs. And and she just dropped a bomb <laughs> they, mm. i heard that it actually makes the cake really moist i don't know i've never my, heard of that yeah my mama actually made riley some cupcakes for her birthday and with applesauce used, yeah she used applesauce instead of eggs because she's highly allergic to eggs that's interesting yeah so i'm actually pretty excited about this and i'm excited about all the kids being able to enjoy this cake so that'll be like a fun little family thing we might do it on our um movie night on friday i also got this big um pack of i called it, well my kids call them bubble peaches they are actually really good um they have these little focus in on that bag the little bubble things right there they are actually really they like them little busted things they bust <laughs> go ahead do it for us real quick oh <laughs> sound like something pop okay mind your business okay um this is the peach strawberry no peach strawberry lemonade kind and these are actually my kids favorite and they i got these from sam's club 
I feel like they were a little more expensive at Sam's Club because we usually get them from Costco. Um, I also got eggs. I'm not sure why the eggs are over here, but um, got these from Costco. These were like $3 and some change and you get 24 eggs. So that's not bad at all. Lots of snacks. We got lots of snacks, you guys. I picked these up because I picked these up from Walmart just randomly. They were not on the list, but they just remind me of my childhood. So I was just like, oh my gosh, nostalgic, nostalgic. Logan, what are you doing? <clears throat> my kids love these white cheddar cheese it. So I got a little box for these. These are not gonna last a whole week, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know. How did this end up in here? How oh, did it end up? Who in did it? that? Anyways, it's a pack of Reese's. I don't know where those. She got seventy-five dollars worth of Reese's. Huh? Somebody? Why they do that like that? I got some of these top Raymond, top Raymond noodles, honey. And these, listen, zoom in, honey, because these are special. Let me show you something. They got some gold. Okay, they got. They got gold on that thing right there. Y'all see that? It's like golden. You see that shimmer and shine? Okay. So the 48, so this should definitely last us for a very long time actually. That's one thing that'll last for more than a week. You know, I know you were complaining about yeah, that. Yeah, whatever. Um, these chips, we got these from, I think we got these from Sam's. Don't remember how much these were, but these are 30 bigger bags. They're not the little small bags, which I feel like we should have got the smaller bags, but anywho, 30 bags of chips. The kids picked those out. I got some antibacterial Dawn soap. I got the smaller one because I don't really wash dishes like that. We also got some of these teriyaki beef flavored noodles. I'm gonna see how the kids like those. And oh, FYI, for these, we do not use the whole packet of seasoning in those noodles. I do. Um, just because I, I don't want them eating all that sodium. Got this um, thing of Velveeta shells and cheese. Yes, I make homemade macaroni and cheese, but I also like the little convenience, okay? This is the eight boxes. Got this from Sam's Club. Kids actually really like this a lot. I also got some cinnamon French toast sticks. We got these from Sam's. I think they picked these up because he likes French toast. Okay, then we got this huge thing of ketchup from Walmart. We got some syrup from Walmart, great value. Also got this four, oh no, this is five pounds of tater tots for the kids. We got this four cheese ravioli for the kids. Lunches. They can also have it for dinner as well. We got this um, ready-made bacon from Costco. This was like nine or eight bucks. Um, we got some uh, cauliflower rice. I think we got that from Walmart. Got some grape jam. I already showed you guys the applesauce. This is actually my first time getting this minced garlic. This huge thing of minced garlic. I'm excited because we love garlic in this house, okay? Okay, two things of this heavy whipping cream. We're gonna have quite a few meals where we use this this week. We got some Philadelphia cream cheese and some mozzarella and provolone. Sargento, this is my favorite. I absolutely love this, uh, this bell. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like bell Gizio, Giozio. You want to try to pronounce that, babe? Bel Gioso. Gioso. You ain't say enough O's. Like Giacio. Y'all, this was nine dollars and nine cents. If you go somewhere to like Publix, somewhere like Publix, or even Walmart, or anywhere that sells this brand of cheese, you're gonna be spending about six bucks for like a little small triangle um, for this cheese. And we got this huge chunk. Y'all look like the same size as my face. Hello for nine dollars so and this cheese is really good very flavorful um we got some strawberry cream cheese spread for their english muffins we got some cream cheese icing for their cake that we're gonna make as a family we also got two packs of these great value um sharp cheddar cheese slices and we also got this big block of sharp cheddar cheese as well String cheese for snacks. We got milk, whole milk. 
from Walmart. This chicken got its leg amputated and its wings. This came from Costco. This is like four dollars and some change, or was it six something? I don't remember. But this came from Costco. We're gonna be using this sometime this week for one of our meals. I also got this really big thing of Parmesan cheese from Costco. Oh shoot, hello. And these um, forks and spoons situation. And what else? Am I missing anything? Oh, here we go. Big old thing of laundry detergent. All right, so then we also got two packs of these waters, Kirkland waters from Costco, obviously. We got some paper towels and some tissue from Costco. This is the day after you guys seen our grocery shopping and grocery haul and all that good jazz. And I, I wanted to tell you guys about this app. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a, a paid sponsored or even a sponsored video however the app that i tell you guys about if you guys do sign up under my link i will get like a couple of points i'll get a few points um from you guys signing up under my referral referral link the points eventually will add up to gift cards and all of that stuff I actually love it so this there is an app called fetch and I have actually been using it for the past six months I found out about it through Jay Morrell um, here on YouTube and I signed up under using her link and I have just fallen in love with it basically what it is is it's like a I don't even want to call it like a rebate app whenever you go shopping you just scan all of your receipts and those receipts equals up to points and um, the points turn into will turn into reward a ton of rewards on the app and you have to have a certain amount of points to get the um, rewards like Amazon gift card target gift card which I have had a few of the target gift cards and I love them um, y'all know I y'all know I love me some Target, so I'm actually just getting ready to go in and scan all of these receipts from the weekend. You can scan a uh, grocery, you can scan grocery uh, receipts, um, just at any. You can scan any receipt on here, you guys. Um, even restaurants. So like, if you eat out a lot, make sure that you scan your receipts. They have Starbucks gift cards. CVS Pharmacy gift cards, Dunkin' Donuts, Bazaar, I don't even know what that is, Domino's Pizza, so on and so forth. And even when you sign up, you can use your referral link and get your friends and stuff to sign up using your link. And you can also make, you can also get gain points from like when your family and friends sign up using your link. So I just wanted to show you guys that this is legit. I have received gift cards. You don't have to put in your personal information or anything like that. I've already scanned my two Walmart receipts and I gained like over 500 points from scanning those. And then I'm getting ready to scan my my husband went to Lowe's the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and scan that. I don't know if they will take a Lowe's um, receipt. But it's super simple. You just go in on it like that. And when it turns green, you can scan the receipt, submit it. And I gained 25 points from my husband Lowe's receipt. And then I'm gonna scan our Costco receipt. Submit. Gained 25 points from Costco. Okay, 25 with Sam's. Let's see, I have a McDonald's receipt, girl. I just, I think you have like a certain amount of days. I wanna say it's like 60 days to scan your receipts. So these were just random receipts. This McDonald's and Sonic receipt was in my van and I picked it up and I was like, girl, let's, let's rack up on these points. Okay, 
I got five points with my McDonald's receipt. I'll take it. I got Sonic. So with my Sonic receipt, I got five points. I'll take it, you guys. So I will be sure to leave my link down below in the description box so that you can sign up. It's free. You don't have to put in any per personal information. And even if you like skeptical to like, even if you're skeptical, you know, because it has like the last few numbers of your debit card, credit card, or whatever, um, or your payment method, you can kind of like scratch that out um, if you just want to be extra safe. I don't know. Um, but you don't have to put any personal information in the app, but you will receive digital gift cards, and I think that that's well worth it. Um, and like I said, I have taken advantage of the rewards multiple times and to me it's like free money so I'm not gonna pass up on it so if you are interested in signing up I will be sure to leave my link down below click that link sign up under my link so that I can get some credit for it too all right guys so that is it for this grocery haul if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more grocery hauls um, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're going to have for dinner this week. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe. Turn on your post, post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.